we'll see as people start coming in. Awesome. Well, good morning or almost afternoon to some of our attendees. They're starting to come in. Welcome to the elementary tract of the National Agriculture in the Classroom program. We're so glad you could be with us. We'll get started here in just a couple of minutes. Familiarize yourself with the bottom buttons. You should see a Q&A section. If you have questions, uh, we will answer them there and share them with our first presenter. Our first presenter is going to be Brittany Snyder. And we're gonna talk a little bit about Discover Beyond the Fridge, Dairy Beyond the Fridge. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about the Dairy Education Program. So again, welcome to this uh, Discovering Dairy Beyond the Fridge. We'll get started in a couple minutes. I apologize. I think my internet went out there for a second. You froze up, but you're back. Yep. Okay. Oh my goodness. It just gave me and you a were just smiling there. Nothing goofy. So you were all good. Okay, good. Did you pass it off to me? I apologize. It cut out right when you did that. Okay. Nope, I didn't. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. We'll give them another minute. We'll start right at the top of the hour. So no problem. No problem. Let's see. First question coming in. Um, can you move between tracks? Uh, you can. Uh, uh, this is a good question. I'll answer this live. Yeah, you can go from this session to the next session. You'll have to log out. Um, I don't know how you have two Zoom sessions at once, but yeah, you can go to whichever ones you want. Uh, and all of our sessions are being recorded and give us a day or two. They'll be on the National Agriculture in the Classroom YouTube channel. This is the elementary session. This is the elementary session. Um, and that's what we'll be working with. Elementary based materials. However, even this session and all the sessions have uh, secondary components, just like our secondary ones have elementary components as well. So look forward to seeing you here in uh, the next couple of minutes. And it is right at it is right at 11 o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining us. My name is Kevin Darty. I'm the Illinois and Ag in the Classroom State Contact. I serve as the president-elect of the National Agriculture in the Classroom Organization. We're excited that you could be a part of our virtual Ag in the Classroom con conference sponsored by BASF, the CHS Foundation, and Corteva AgriScience. Our first one to kick off for, the, uh, for our elementary session is Discovering Dairy Beyond the Fridge. We have with us a seasoned presenter, Brittany Snyder from Mooresville, Pennsylvania. She has a passion for agriculture. And I, 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 this is hard to believe, but you are from a family seventh generation dairy farm. You're a graduate of Delaware Valley University and you lead the dairy curriculum programs for the dairy education program of the Dairy Excellence Foundation in Harrisburg. With that, we welcome Brittany. Give her your full attention and use that Q&A if you have any questions. Brittany, thanks for being here. We'll turn it over to you. Awesome, thank you so much. And I'll go ahead and get my screen shared. If you can just let me know whether or not you can see that, that would be great. All good, yep, it's up. Awesome, all right, we'll go ahead and get started. So I want you to put yourself in your students' shoes. How do they see the dairy industry? Do they think of equipment that looks like this? Do they think that cows are milked by hand? Do they understand how milk is processed today? Or do we still envision the milk being poured from a giant can into cartons and then just magically show up on the store shelves? And most of all, who do we think of when someone thinks of a dairy farmer? Do we think of this guy? Probably, right? We, I think most of us, or especially our students, would probably think of grandpa who lives a really simple, easy life. Uh, he wears a straw hat, he's got flannel shirt, bib overalls, or maybe we're even thinking of the farmer's son with the straw sticking out of his mouth. The reality is though, the dairy industry doesn't look like that anymore. In fact, it looks a lot more like this. We now have dairy farms that have hundreds or thousands of cows and the barns are absolutely gorgeous. We have big open ventilation systems with fans and sprinklers. Um, they have automatic start to them whenever it gets too warm. The cows live on mattresses and water beds. They might be bedded with sand or recycled cow manure, which is incredibly comfortable. And all of that is made possible because of the advanced dairy technology we have today. This is completely different than anything we would have seen 50 or 75 years ago in the dairy industry. And now we even see barns that look like this. 
This barn is a testimony to how much the dairy industry has progressed in the last 50 years. This is a farm in Arizona where dairy farming wouldn't have been possible without this advanced technology because of the extreme heat that hits Arizona. As you can see, this high-tech barn creates a very cool space for more than 20,000 cows during the hottest part of the day, dropping the temperature by 40 degrees. And then let's think about that equipment. You know, so we had seen that run down old rusty tractor, but now we think and see huge pieces of equipment running in our fields. And these big pieces of equipment are bigger and more efficient than ever, allowing us to provide more food for our world. Probably even cooler part is the inside of what these tractors look like. Um, these tractors can practically drive themselves, right? They, they're smarter than us, they're smarter than our cars, they've got GPS tracking and all kinds of things that make um, crop farming and field work so easy. Then we move to the actual milking process on a dairy farm that tends to look more like this now, right? So we no more milking by hand, everything is run by a rhythmic relaxing machine that keeps everything enjoyable and calm for the cows, has automatic takeoff every three to five minutes, um, and just makes that milking process a routine and consistent time each day for the for the for that cow. Or maybe you've even seen something that looks like this, which are dairies that have robots. This farm is in New England, and they actually just put three robots in to allow their family to kind of shift their focus a little bit and not be tied down to milking times. Um, but in robot barns, cows get the choice of when they want to be milked, and they often. Uh, choose to go in four or five times a day because they enjoy it that much. Plus, they get a little treat when they're inside. This, this is the future of the dairy industry. The dairy industry is no longer milking by hand or running old tractors. It's new, it's modern, and there's a lot of drive and positive, positivity to be excited about in the dairy industry. But most of all, if you think back to the picture of grandpa that I showed you, the people in the industry have really changed. We no longer see as many grandpas, though there are still some, but instead we are seeing folks like this. These four ladies manage and operate a dairy farm in Minnesota. And actually their cheese has won national awards and their business is absolutely booming. They are smart, intellectual women taking the dairy industry by storm. Our modern dairy farmer is also multicultural. This is a calf management team that is on that Arizona farm I talked about earlier. And farms are now supporting entire families with a place to live and work, ultimately providing us with a really healthy product. So not only that, but our dairy farmers are just your average person, just like you and me. They've got kids and grandkids, parents and grandparents. Um, and they might even look like someone like this, who are first time generations, as, as was said in the intro, you know, I'm from a seventh generation farm and I'm, I'm very fortunate to have that, but that's not how every farm is anymore. There's a lot of farms popping up um, and people going into this business because there's a lot of life in it. And then there's even people like Paige, who is on the right side of your screen right now, who didn't come from a dairy background at all. And as you can see on her TikTok, she doesn't like country music. She has other hobbies like CrossFit. She's got a degree in animal science, but I love what she says here. And it says farmers come in all types. We aren't all old McDonald's. This could not be more true. And I want to make sure today that we realize our dairy farmers look like this now. That, you know, going back to our old farmer, they don't, they don't all look like that anymore. Instead, they look like Jen, who is the manager of that 20,000 cow, cow dairy in Arizona, has more than 100 employees that she's managing. She's got a degree in dairy science, serves on multiple boards regionally and nationally, but then is also involved in, with her kids at school. She coaches soccer and so much more. Our dairy farmers are diverse, intelligent people. And because of these movers and shakers who change the demographics of dairy, there is real opportunity for careers in dairy for your students one day. Maybe they will end up working on a dairy farm. But even if they don't go into a career in dairy, just about everyone will be a consumer of dairy someday. So being aware and knowledgeable about where our food comes from is very important. 
If you think back, anyone that is with us today, um, I've all joined us. So thank you all for joining us today. I'm really excited to have you all here. If anyone on here is a Gen X or baby boomer, um, maybe you have a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle that lived or worked on a dairy farm. And you probably visited the farm or have real stories and experiences on a farm to relate to. You, you can recall real stories and experiences on a farm. And those real memories automatically instill trust in the dairy industry for you because you've been able to see what happens on a farm with your own eyes. But people that don't have that experience or memories to recall from, mostly your students, how can we expect them to trust our dairy farmers and understand the industry? Even better yet, when your students are old enough to have purchasing power um, and go to the grocery store, how will they know how to shop responsibly in the dairy aisle? There are so many marketing games going on in all the aisles, but especially in the dairy aisle. So knowing what is real dairy and what is the best nutrition for their body to live a healthy lifestyle is so important. So developing that trust and building that bridge between your students and our dairy farmers is why the Discover Dairy program exists. It exists because we are here to inspire young minds to discover dairy. So as I said in the beginning, my name is Brittany Snyder and I'm the program manager for this awesome program called Discover Dairy. I work with an incredible team at the Dairy Excellence Foundation in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, and while I'm very thankful for this opportunity to work with this program for nearly six years now, truly the reason I'm here today is because of this little girl here. So this is me when I was four years old and I was the Little Miss Dairy Princess for our Brooks County promotion team. And that milk punch that I'm serving is still my favorite milk punch to this day. But this is the reason why I'm here today and why I truly believe Discover Dairy is important to, for every school to implement. Because at four years old, up to 10th grade, I had that opportunity to live on our seventh generation farm, which is now run by my brother as, uh, and his kids, which are the eighth generation. And I was able to see that dairy farm and that dairy farm experience firsthand. I knew without a fathom of a doubt that dairy farmers were hardworking, dedicated people who are ultimate stewards of our cows and our land. But I know when I was in school, I was the only one that had that firsthand experience to pull from. I know I was blessed with an amazing opportunity to live on a farm. And inherently, I was able to understand where my food came from without realizing the power of understanding that. So it's because of that little four-year-old that I'm here today, because everyone I grew up with didn't get that opportunity and experience for real dairy and, and building that trust and better understanding of the dairy industry. So I'm here today to offer that, to offer the Discover Dairy program and talk about it with you. It's a free program, so you can share the dairy story with your students. As we dive into Discover Dairy today and the platform, please feel free, as they had mentioned, to use that um, the question feature and submit any questions. I'll be happy to answer any of them at the end or as we go through. Um, and of course, um, if we want to take any as we go through, go for it. Um, so I believe there are four main reasons why including dairy and specifically Discover Dairy in your classroom is important. So first of all, the economic impact. The economic impact is incredible. Um, dairy generates $52 billion in the US economy each year, supporting more than 3 million jobs. Um, and that can include anything from marketing specialists and food developers all the way to our dairy farmers. And then number two is background. As we talked about earlier, many of the students that you have will be three, four, or five generations removed from any agriculture at all, not even including dairy and they have very little personal experience. So it's crucial to build that connection with your students. Um, three, honestly, it's very easy. Everything in dairy is STEM. There's science, there's technology, there's engineering, there's math in every facet of dairy farming. So it's easy to integrate concepts into your STEM education. And of course, Dairy is just a lot of fun. Cows are so darn cute, and we get to work with these cuties all throughout the program um, and share them with you and your students. They are uh, very easy to love and build a connection with, and I have 
no doubt just from testimony after testimony and year after year of doing this, that any dairy curriculum or activity that you add to your classroom um, from Discover Dairy or any of the other resources we offer, that these memories will be some of the memories that your students will remember for a lifetime. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into what is Discover Dairy and what it has to offer for you. So Discover Dairy is an educational series that meets common core standards in math, reading, and science um, for those third to eighth grade students. And it's teaching them where their milk comes from and how dairy farmers contribute to our world. Um, this is a completely free online platform and we'll dive into what that looks like here. And in addition to those third to eighth grade lessons, we are developing K to second grade lessons. And we also have a high school curriculum that's actually separate from Discover Dairy. So if you're on here, I know this is the elementary track, but if you know high school teachers that are interested at all, we do have a program called Dairy Leaders of Tomorrow um, that I can gladly get you in contact with our manager that manages that program um, and get you set up for that high school curriculum too. So who uses Discover Dairy? Um, I'd be curious to see who actually uses Discover Dairy. Um, and I think I might be able to see it somewhere. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, it does, if, if you can like, I don't know if people can raise their hand or comment or I don't even know. Ooh, I can see hands raising. Cool. Um, so I was just curious if anyone had used Discover Dairy before or was familiar with it. Awesome. Very cool. We do have a couple of attendees who have participated in the past, which is exciting. Um, so Discover Dairy, as many of you who have said you've participated, we are reaching about 40,000 teachers, which impacts about 1.2 million students. And we absolutely love that we are able to reach so many people and provide a free resource for you to use however you like in the class. So next, we're going to go ahead and dive into the website and explore where you can find these lessons and extra materials to use in the classroom. So. First, you're going to go to discoverdairy.com. And if you want, you can go ahead and write that down. Or as I had said, the recordings of these will be presented, will be provided to you later and you can always grab it then. But discoverdairy.com is that landing page that everything will be found on that we're gonna talk about today. And to access those lesson plans, all you have to do is create a free account, which is very simple. So we're gonna pretend we're creating an account today. Um, so you'll click on menu and then you click on register for Discover Dairy. All you have to do is complete that form, and then right below it is where that login button is. You'll be emailed information on um, your login. It'll give you like a temporary password and things like that. You'll go ahead and get logged in, and then you can have access to everything. Without an account, you do have access to a few things on the website, specifically um, a couple of things that are also useful for students to access. So Students don't have to create an account, but if you want access to the actual lessons, you do need to create an account and then log in first. So first, when you log in, it will take you to your account page. It'll look something like this. And from here, you can um, you can either edit your profile from here or you can contact us from here. Editing your profile is great if you're changing schools or number of students changes from year to year. Um, keeping your information up to date is helpful for us so we know who we're impacting. But most importantly, we'll talk about it later, but if you're in the adopt -a cal program, keeping that information up to date is crucial so that way you're getting all of your information sent to the right location. So next we're gonna find where these lessons are and just see how easy it is to access everything. So if you click on the menu button again, and then, and this is saying we're already logged in. You click on that menu button and then go to elementary school. Um, today, we're gonna pretend we're clicking on lesson one, animal health. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So when you click on lesson one, your screen will look something like this. Um, and this has kind of changed a little bit from the last time we presented last year. Um, and this is gonna continue changing in the next month or so as we continue adding new things um, with our contracted teacher. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. But you can see a few things. You'll see like the learning objectives, all the materials are listed, all of your standards are listed below. Um, but most importantly is that blue button, which is where you'll find the entire lesson that you can download. So if you click on that lesson, here's just a sneak peek of two of the pages from the lesson. You can see the lesson has, has objectives, estimated time for completion, all of the materials that you would need, um, lesson components, the motivator, video notes, um, so it'll walk you through, if you can watch the video and then all of the details about the lesson and any facts and figures you would need to know is completely listed out in the 
in the lesson for you. So you're knowledgeable about the topic. Um, and then of course, there are guided reading lessons, an ebook, evaluation options, and review questions. So a lot of great content in each lesson. Um, here's just a sneak peek of like what two of the activity sheets would look like. You can either print them out and hand them out to your students. You can put them up on your screen and use your smart board and write on it right away. Um, whatever works in your classroom, they are PDFs and you can use them however you choose. So going back to the main lesson page, you can access the video that goes along with the lesson. All nine lessons for the third to eighth grade levels have videos that go with them. Um, I'm gonna play just a very short clip of this animal, uh, this animal health lesson. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click into that. It's about a minute long and then we'll hop back into the lesson again. So here's a quick preview of what the videos look like. Dairy farming is a way of life. In fact, 99% of all dairy farms are owned by families. It's where the farmers live as well as their cows. Part of a farmer's way of life is taking good care of their cows. It's a source of real pride and satisfaction. Farmers love to see a cow chewing her cud. It means that the cow was content and relaxed and that they are doing a good job of taking care of her. Cows are a part of what's called the circle of life. Think of it this way. The sun's energy is captured by plants. Cows eat those plants, often ones we humans can't, and they also drink a lot of water. They transform the plants and water into milk, and then we drink the milk, which is a concentrated source of nutrition and energy. All right, so that was just a quick clip of the first video from lesson one, and again, each lesson um, has a video that's like three to five minutes long that does a great job of just talking about the lesson topic. Um, and then the lesson kind of dives in deeper to that content. So next, I wanted to highlight the virtual learning pieces that each lesson has. Um, we have a Quizlet set for each one. We've got an ebook for each one, and we've got a Kahoot game. So let's just take a quick peek at what those look like. And I'm sure many of you have used these in your classroom already. So this is just a, a preview of Quizlet. You know what you can do with Quizlet. It's in there. You can do the games. You can do the individual study, whatever you want it to be. Um, we've got our eBooks. So we've got eBooks that match up with each one. And you know, there's some pretty big words in here and it can be higher level. So we also have um, audio over each one. So if you're working with younger students that can't quite read this yet, um, you can just play the read along and it'll read it as they go through. And then of course we have our Kahoot games, which are a lot of fun. So we are actually going to go ahead and play the animal health lesson Kahoot game just to show you what it's like and to kind of change gears here briefly. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So go ahead to kahoot.it and go ahead and enter that game in 6324905. And I am going to also, change my screen while you are entering that and I can see some people are already joining which is awesome you just can't see that screen yet give me one second um do -do -do. I will do that and do -do -do. All right, everyone's getting signed on, which is great. I can see it happening. There we go. All right. So lots of you are- yep, you're on, it's all good. Yep, we can see it. Awesome, awesome. Everyone is getting joined on here. We'll go ahead into full screen. Maybe we'll turn a little background music on. There we go. All right, I'll give you guys about 10, 15 seconds here yet to go ahead and get joined in. That pin is at the top for you. And again, this is to just highlight what one of the Kahoot games are. This one specifically is a 10 question quiz. Um, you can use it as review. You can use it as an introduction to see what their knowledge is to start and then do it again at the end to see how much better they do. You guys all know Kahoot. Um, so use it however it works best for you in your class. All right, we'll give it five more seconds here. Kahoot.it, 
And then it's 632-4905. All right, I'm gonna hit start in five, four, three, two, one. All right, I apologize if you missed it, but hopefully if you if you missed it, you can still enjoy it and check it out. So for the first question, cows drink how much water every day? They drink a gallon, a bathtub, a pool full, or a glass full. And remember with coot, it's all about accuracy and speed. Yes, a bathtub full of water, very nice. All right, let's see. Ooh, Sarah, very quick, very nice. All right, question number two. Cows depend on this person to help with vaccinations, medicine, and to keep the cow healthy. Is it a nutritionist, a gr an agronomist, a veterinarian, or the milk truck driver? Which they all have in a very important role when helping the farmers. Yes, very nice, veterinarians. We've got some smart teachers here. We didn't even do the lesson and you guys are not getting them right. Very nice. All right, LW is in the lead. True or false, chewing her cud shows that a cow is content and relaxed. True or false? Yes, true. Chewing her cud is a great indicator of whether or not we know cows are happy and healthy. If they're not chewing their cud, it means they're not doing so good. All right, number four, how much does a mature cow eat in one day? Is it five pounds, 30 pounds, 90 pounds, or 210 pounds? And again, these are all things that are covered and talked about in the lesson that you'll be teaching. Yes, 90 pounds of feed is a lot of food. And if it's a Holstein, it can be upwards of 100 to 110 pounds of feed every day. All right, let's see. Ooh, Dawn is sneaking up to the top. Nice. All right, number five. What is a baby cow called? A calf? a bull, a steer, or a pup? Oof, that one was quick. Yes, a calf. <laughs> Very nice. Hopefully we had some, some speed demons on that one. All right, number six. All right, so this is a multi-select. So select all of the ones that are correct. How do farmers care for their cows? Do they provide a balanced diet? Do they provide fresh water? Do they milk the cows two to three times a day? And or do they provide a clean place to sleep? So remember, select all that apply. All right, yes, all of them are correct. Farmers do a lot of work to make sure our cows are happy and healthy. And just like I'm doing as we're going through, you can always add commentation and, and chat with your students. All right, next question. How many eight ounce glasses of milk can the average cow produce in one day? 100 glasses, 500 glasses, five glasses, or 10 glasses. And this is in the video and the lesson. Very nice, 100 glasses, it's a lot of milk. And that's on average, um, many Holsteins and Brown Swiss and the bigger breeds will produce a lot more than that. The special mix of feed that a cow eats to meet her specific dietary needs, what is that called? Is it a totally mixed food, a total mixed ration, a balanced mixed ration or a balanced party mix? Yeah, that one, oh, that one was jerky. So it's total mixed ration or TMR. And again, that's in the lesson. There's all kinds of good stuff on that. There's actually an, a whole other thing. Um, if you ever have a dairy princess or a farmer come out to your farm, they can like bring feed samples and show the students what that TMR looks like. It's a really cool opportunity to tie the two together. Why do dairy farmers use ear tags? Is it for identification? Is it a cow jewelry? Or is it to detect their emotions? Is it like a mood ring? Let's see. All right, and the answer is yes identification. Um, identification and depending on the level of the ear tag, it can track rumination and all kinds of things, depending on if it's a smart one or not. And last question, each milking takes about three to seven minutes, true or false? And the answer is true, that is correct. 
just a very short time frame for those lovely ladies in the milking parlor. So let's see who our winners are. Third place is Dawn. Congratulations, 10 out of 10. Then we've got Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> and then let's see, number one is Sarah. So congratulations to our players. I just want to say three of you got 10 out of 10 correct, which just means it was all about speed. So very nice job to all of you. Um, and of course, just like you guys know, um, with all of the Kahoot games, you can do recaps, you can do all kinds of things um, and, and go back and forth um, and do it again and play it again, whatever you want to do. All right. So I'm going to jump back over to presentation. So thank you all for joining for that. I really appreciate you all participating. Um, as a oops, as a recap, um, so what does Discover Dairy all include? It's a free online platform. It's found at discoverdairy.com. It provides full lesson plans, worksheets, labs, supplementary, supplementary materials like Quizlets, eBooks, um, and Kahoot games, and just so much more. So Discover Dairy, it's a lot of great content in those lessons. However, next I want to highlight a few things on our website that are available to you anytime, um, whether you're logged in or not. And this is where your students can also access, access these resources if you want them to reach them uh, digitally instead of printing anything out. So these resources are here for you to kind of enhance that experience in your classroom beyond those general lessons. We work with most of the country's dairy checkoff organizations um, to strive to be like a dairy hub of information and kind of that one-stop shop for you to get any and all kind of dairy, dairy activities, um, posters, whatever it may be, you'll pretty much find most of those dairy links on our website for you to access anytime. So if you go to discoverdairy.com and then click on classroom enrichment, you will see a few of these sections. The first you'll find the watch it section, which highlights any upcoming live virtual tours that are happening across the country. So again, with those partnerships that we have, they provide us these details and we'll share them with you on here so you can have access to them. You can also check out the educational video library that has some really great short video clips that can, again, enhance that classroom experience on the different topics that you may be teaching. Then there's the read it section. So again, this is just a library of vetted dairy books that would be really good for you in your classroom. Um, there are some that say read this book, which those are actually digital books. So if we click on that digital book, um, you'll see the ebook here. These books are again provided by partners that have created them um, and they're the ones that are making this program free. This book in particular talks about the science behind milk and the process of turning it into cheese. You can gladly just access that book digitally, um, or you can print it out for your students uh, for them to read. But there's a couple of ebooks like that. And then there's also a bunch of books that say buy this book. Um, this is just going to take you to the Amazon listing or like Barnes and Noble listing or whatever it may be um, for you to make that purchase if you choose to add that book to your library. We do not sell them independently. Um, we just give you the link to do that on your own. And then, of course, we have the download it section. These are activity sheets that we've created, um, or again, from posters that you can download in your classroom. Um, the great thing about all of these videos and ebooks and posters, um, you can actually access all of these on our Discover Dairy app in addition to our website. So, if you have a tech friendly classroom and you want your students to pull up any of those videos or resources, Click Discover Dairy, um, and you'll find all of these digital resources available to you and your students at any time. I will be sharing the QR codes further into the presentation at the end um, for you to actually go ahead and download the app um, and get it added. Real quick, Brittany, uh, I got a yeah. question in there. Double, go, uh, go over your grade levels. You've got some really early elementary stuff up here, but you also mentioned high school. There's stuff for all grades. I wanted to reaffirm that with you. Yeah, absolutely. So our lessons themselves, those nine lessons, are definitely geared towards third to eighth 
third to eighth grade at the moment. Um, we are working on that K to second grade level. Um, as you can see, these activity sheets, definitely that younger age group. Um, so lessons to come to kind of go with those activity lessons. And then the high school piece, that's a separate program um, called Dairy Leaders of Tomorrow, but still this under our same branch, like our same staff and our same team. Um, and actually I'll talk about it in a bit, but with the Adopt-A-Cow program, there's gonna be a high school extension part of the adopt a cow program so really anything that's accessible yep all, got all a, ages got a quick question on adopt a cow they've sometimes had trouble uh with the app uh any talk about it. i i i love technology too totally see that eye roll there so uh <laughs> sorry that gets nothing against our it people but uh sometimes it's just technology that's what i'm going to go with the answer with so pretty yeah. honest answer that though yeah unfortunately it's, it's possible what happens is the app will do an update but the phone hasn't updated so then the updates aren't matching up and then oftentimes it's just okay update the app or update your phone and then it usually works um but if you ever have any app issues please just contact us and um, usually the, the team we work with called Echo that has developed our app for us, they're on it and they'll check it out really quick. But just contact us if you have any issues. Usually it's all about updating the app or updating your phone so they match. <laughs> uh, and awesome. one, more, one more quick question about the yeah. uh, cow. Uh, everybody in the same city got the same cow. Is there a way to move those around or a question about the cows? Sure. So that's with the adopt a cow program. Um, and so actually, that's where we're moving on to next. Um, the adopt a cow program, we do work with 34 farms across the country, and then only two to three calves from each farm. Um, unfortunately, it's just impossible to assign 40,000 separate calves with the amount of information we provide. Um, so we can try and at least assign you a different calf if you've got two teachers in the same grade. Um, and we kind of, we try to sift through the four, the list of 40 teach 40,000 teachers to make sure that happens. Um, but we can, that's about as best as we can do with offering it as a free program, essentially. But um, we've had many schools that will adopt one calf as a whole school, or when they do have the same calf as a local teacher, they'll kind of do that whole experience together. So um, many people have, um, you know, shifted the way they do it to make it work. Um, but again, email us if you really, really, really want a different calf. Um, we can assign you a different calf from another state. It just won't be a local experience. So that's an option. Absolutely. Perfect. And more people chime in and they love it. So oh, let's go ahead with the Dr. Awesome. Cow. That's, I told you we were going to get a lot of questions on the Dr. Cow. Yeah, I knew it. And I save it for last because it usually provides, a, a, you know, has a lot of good questions or good commentary. So um, before I jump into a ton of information on Dr. Cow, I do just want to share a short promotional video with you to give a little overview. Um, and it's from our one of our host farmers, Farmer Jody. Um, she's actually a veteran farmer and has been in this program for a very long time. So here's a short video on adopt a cow. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Brittany with the Discover Dairy program, and we are so excited that you are joining us today as we get to meet Farmer Jody and, of course, your adorable adopted calf, Brandy. Classrooms across the country um, adopt a calf at the beginning of the school year. So at six, seven months old, she's about 300, 350 pounds. When she's full grown, a good sized jersey might weigh 1,200 pounds. And they watch that calf grow. The farmer communicates with that program to give them updates on the calf. On a normal full day, twice a day milking, we're up around 8,000 pounds. So you're yes. producing about 930 gallons of milk a day, a right? Day. There is, there's a big disconnect kids and students, you know, that aren't from a, from an ag community, um, that, that don't know where their food comes from. It's very important to every farmer that, that we give you the best quality milk that we can. Everyone better start drinking their milk because <laughs> JJC Jerseys is producing all the milk for you guys. <laughs> you know, you find out through programs like this that the people do care. They do want to know and they do want to see where it comes from. Thank you so much for opening your farm up to us and just welcoming us as if we were your own. I hope that you enjoyed our little tour of our farm. Um, yeah, drink milk. <laughs> see ya.
All right. So that was Farmer Jody. As I said, she's been a house farmer for four years now. She's coming back again. She is our a fantastic veteran of the program. And she is one of 33 dairy farmers that we work with across the country to make the Adopt a Cow program possible. Um, so about Adopt a Cow and what it all includes. Um, and honestly, what it includes grows a little bit more each year, um, which is just, it, it's exciting. We love the growth that it's been able to offer. And, and it only happens because of the feedback we get from everyone that participates year after year. We really take that end of year survey to heart, read through everybody's individual, all 5,000 submissions to find ways we can tweak and make it better. So thank you. If any of you completed that survey, we really appreciate the time you took so we can continue making it better. But um, so the things that it includes, it, it provides four photo updates throughout the year. One time with the birth announcement, and then it includes three updates on the calf. All of that information is available via our adopt a cow portal, which is on the website or on the Discover Dairy app. The app is a little bit, you know, a quicker access, whereas the portal um, kind of gives you just a, a more in-depth view of everything. You can save it to your computer or things like that. It includes photos, videos, updated calf information, and all of this can be individually accessed, or you can download it all in that PowerPoint, which is a PDF version of the PowerPoint. And then each update has many lessons that follow next generation science standards and common core standards, which provides all those additional activities and, and correspondences to all those update materials. Of course, the most important part is it is free and you can use as much or as little of this program that works for your class. Some people will spend hours on this a week. Some people will take five minutes just to say, hey, look at our cute calf and how much she's grown. And any of that is fine. That's It is here for you to use however it works for you. So let's jump into how to join the adopt a cow program. Um, thinking back to previously when I talked about Discover Dairy registration, if you register for Discover Dairy, you'll only get access to those nine lessons we have available to use anytime. That registration does not sign you up for adopt a cow. If you want to participate in the adopt a cow program, you must re-enroll each year. So if you already have a Discover Dairy account or participated in the adopt a cow program last year, all you have to do is log in and at the bottom of your account page, it will just have the adopt a cow registration. It'll ask if you want to sign up again, click that little checkbox and hit submit and you'll be re-enrolled. If you haven't participated in the past, you'll go to discoverdairy.com backslash adopt. Once you complete this form, you'll get an email with your login information, um, log in. And now, now that you've signed up for adopt a cow, this actually gives you access to both all those Discover Dairy lessons, and now you're enrolled in the Adopt a Cow program. So one sign up gives you access to both. Um, you can be in Adopt a Cow and Discover Dairy at the same time, but you can't just be in Adopt a Cow. So it's either you have an access to just Discover Dairy and just those lessons, or you're in Discover Dairy and Adopt a Cow if you sign up for Adopt a Cow. And there we go. So once you've registered, your account page will look something like this. You'll see it's a welcome message here, all of your account information. Um, we're working on adding and tweaking this page as well to have just some constant resources here for you. Um, you can also access everything throughout that lesson, clicking on the adopt a cow column under the menu, uh, under the menu here. So we're going to just briefly go through what these pages look like and what's all accessible to you on the adopt a cow portal. So first, we have the overview page. This is where you'll find general information about the program. This overview page is available before you create an account. So you can view all of the testimony. You can view a bunch of testimonies. You can look at the FAQs and much, much more. Um, but it's also accessible once you are logged in. Next is the very important CAF updates page. This is where you will probably be the most. Um, this is where you will use your cow code to access your CAF information all year long. So at the beginning of the program year in October, you'll be given a cow code that we will enter in that little box and hit submit, which will give you access to your calf information. All the photos, the videos and everything else will be right here. When the time comes at the end of the program, you'll also have access to the live chats. So there's a live chat landing page where all that information will be found, a full calendar, all the links to join on YouTube and Facebook and everything else. So that will be on the live chats tab. The lessons and standards tab, um, this is where you'll see all three of the lessons that go with the updates. So the PowerPoints that go with these lessons will be found in that CAF updates page that I just talked about where you enter that cow code. Um, this is where the lessons are. So 
um, those the updates will look a little something like this. So anyone that's done this before, um, this is what kind of your intro page looks like when you get to meet Paisley. This is when she was two months old. So this is her two month update. Um, we share all kinds of information. This one, this page specifically is talking about some basic maintenance and calf maintenance as they get older. Um, but these lessons are available to you now. So like the lessons that go with these PowerPoints are on the lessons page. Um, and all of these standards are on that lessons page. These PowerPoints that are being on the, that are on the screen right now will be provided to you as we go throughout the year. We can't share them with you until the calf is actually two or four months old. So you'll be getting them as the year goes on. Next is the program calendar. This is an important one for planning. So if you click through this, you'll find all the important dates of when you can expect to receive the calf updates and information throughout the year. I took this screen clip today just so the time was and dates were updated. So 75 days until you can until registration closes for adopt a cow. We've also have the Sunday fun day resource page. So this is something we send out two emails a month that are just extra resources about Adopt-A-Cow and, and dairy in general. And we'll be posting all of those resources in on this page. So if you miss the email, you can always just come back to this page and access the materials there. And of course, we've got a tutorial page that you can click through um, and watch little videos if you need help navigating the portal. So as a recap, we send out Sunday Fun Day emails. Uh, we do a live chat at the end of the program year. We get to meet your calf and farmer. You can send handwritten thank yous. You can send e-messages through our contact your farmer tool, um, which is just really meant to just send fun messages to the farmer and to say, hi, thank you. Um, we love our calf. Um, and then of course, as a reminder, all of these materials are available to you on the portal or in the app. Um, as a reminder, this program is completely free. Uh, however, we are a nonprofit organization, so we do provide donation options throughout the year if you want to kind of enhance that experience. We've got the cow kits that we offer, which comes with a cute calf, um, a journal that you can send home with the calf, and an activity on how to take use this uh, calf experience in your classroom. Um, we've heard from many, many teachers who absolutely love doing this. Some people make a little home for it, like you can see in their classroom. Uh, and then we also do an ear tag donation option. Um, we do this order time in January. So that way delivery date is before Valentine's Day. So if anyone wants to, any parents or students want to give it to their kids as a Valentine's Day gift, they can. And as I mentioned earlier, a sneak peek announcement, we are excited that we're sharing some high school extensions. So again, if any of your high school friends um, are wanting to get involved, we will have some high school curriculum pieces that are going to tie in some career opportunities, economic impact, environmental impact, and things like that, right along with the updates. And as we wrap up here, just wanted to share a few photos of how people use this program. You know, they do um, gender reveals. It's always a girl. Girl <laughs> heifers are the only ones that can produce milk, so it's always going to be a girl. Um, but that's, people like to do that. Um, they'll do voting. We provide a growth chart, which is that far right picture. And the far left one here is them actually using the growth chart in the classroom. Um, we've had teachers who made copies of the picture of their calf and framed it and then um, handed it out to their students for Christmas. Uh, teachers make bulletin boards and put them out in their hall for everyone to follow along the journey. Um, and then this is just an example of the cow kit being put to use um, and, you know, actually reading their journal entries and traveling with their calf daisy and everything else. Um, since we're running short on time here, I'm going to skip this little testimonial video, but I have a, there's just a video from a teacher who um, sent a really nice testimony of, of how she used it as a first time teacher um, and her and her students absolutely loved it, but I wanted to make sure I shared this screen for you. Um, I encourage you to download the Discover Dairy app. You can register for Adopt a Cow right from the app. You can access the Discover Dairy videos from here. You can meet our AR Cow Clover, the mascot cow. Um, you can read those ebooks. And once the program starts, you can also access all of the adopted cow uh, information as well. Awesome. Uh, Thank you yeah. so much, Brittany. We did have a couple questions. If a sure. farmer wants to be a part of the program, uh, I have no idea how to answer that. What would they, how would they, I'd say go to centerfordairyexcellence.org and <laughs> go that way, but. Sure. Yeah. So this screen that I have up right now, go ahead and scan that and then save our contact information to your phone. That's our email info at discoverdairy.com should be on there. Shoot us an email. 
um, send the farm information. We work with our partners across the country and they technically are the ones that pick the farms. They vet them and then provide that information to us since they're paying for the program to be free for you. Um, so they vet the farms, but I will often share farm suggestions to them um, and, then, and then they go from there. So if a farm is interested, pass on that information to us and we'll be happy to make that connection and pass the information on to our partners. And again, a couple other questions about uh, the donations and ear tags. All of that information can be found on the Discover. Uh, give, the, give the website one more time. Sure. Discoverdairy.com. Um, the cow kit option will open August 1st, and it closes with registration when, when that closes September 15th. Um, and then the ear tag donation option will open in January. And if you're enrolled in the program, you will get emails and notifications and reminders when all of that stuff is available um, and, and I'm open for an option for you. Well, Brittany, thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate it. Glad that four-year-old dairy princess uh, has blossomed into this and that you can <laughs> share this story of dairy farms. So we are so excited to have you uh, again, folks. Thanks again for joining us for Discovering Dairy Beyond the Refrigerator. This was our uh, first speaker, Brittany Snyder. Thank you so much, Brittany, for joining us. For the rest of you, we will be back at, right at the top of the hour with our next one, Food Forest for Outdoor Living. We're going from the uh, we're going from the uh, the balmy north central part of the united states to uh back down to florida so uh join us at the top of the hour Brittany. again thank you very much look forward to more adopt a cows throughout the school year thank you awesome thank you we'll see you again soon folks